The battle for the MVP this season is heating up fast. However, the NBA has thrown a spanner into the works. Seeding games played in Orlando will not account for any award race. The awards will be determined solely from the games in the original season, giving all players a fair chance. LBJ and the Greek Freak are both favourites, but the votes are no longer divided. G'day guys, a shout out to everyone who has shown support as we welcome you to the 10th episode of Basketball Action. First up, who is the favourite to take the MVP award this season? As the new rules take place, some of the big guns of the NBA have shared their opinions. Among those disappointed with the changes is big man Shaquille O'Neal. Upset, he made the following comments. So based on that BS criteria that y'all made up, Giannis is 53 and 12. And LeBron is the best player in the world. He's 49 and 14. So based on this new criteria, you gotta give it to Giannis. Giannis has actually pulled up a team of the East from a basic level to becoming season favorites. He added, What I respect about Giannis is he's saying, Okay, Bron, I respect you and all that, but I don't want to join these super teams. I want to do it by myself. And they live in Milwaukee. You put them with Coach Bud, the kid plays hard, he's very exciting to watch, and he's doing it the right way. I'm giving him super respect for that. So, he gets my knot. Adding fuel to Giannis' fire is former Miami teammate and LeBron's best friend. Dwayne Wade. One could not blame Wade for being biased, however he gave a diplomatic yet firm answer saying, As a player, you pick your MVP and nobody knows what you said. Today is the first day, I'm really in the media because people get to hear my pick. For me, Giannis came back this season as the reigning MVP. He didn't do anything to lose that. LeBron was catching him, he was really picking up steam before the season ended. Dwayne also mentioned that if not for the lockdown, the last games would have a big influence on deciding the MVP. I felt that the last 20 games was really going to determine who was going to be MVP. We did not have that. Giannis did not lose MVP. I felt he's been the front runner. But LeBron, he's the best player in the game right now and what he's doing in his 17th year, if there was an award for that, he'll get that award. But overall, Giannis has been the MVP all season. If Giannis does take the prize, he will be only the 12th player in NBA history to win back-to-back -back MVP titles. Courtside Gossip If you're a fan of Shaq the Fool, then you're in luck. Luka Doncic appears to have nominated himself not once, but twice. Doncic raced to the sideline to save the ball, however as he came to a stop on the railing, he's almost wiped out by the rail cam. Luckily for him, his instincts kicked in and he got away unscathed. If that didn't fill your boots, he goes for round two. This time, after pulling up Simmons, he goes to inbound the ball. Not seeing the guy brooming the floor, he almost slips over. See ya on Shaq in a fool, Luca. Former Bulls champion Scotty Pippen has sent shockwaves around the NBA. Pippen claims Giannis does not yet possess what it takes to be an NBA champion. Answering a question about the offensive versatility in Giannis' game, Scotty said, I don't think he is really there yet. You're talking about winning a title. You're talking about playing in the NBA Finals. You're talking about making big shots, being able to take those shots with great confidence. I just don't see him being ready right now for that. He also added, I know that he has made some great strides. He is still one of the top players in the game. But in terms of his outside play, he is not really one that carries the team to a title. Speaking about the Bucks loss to Toronto in the playoffs last year, he reveals, they really exposed Giannis to his weakness. And that's what teams do when they get you in a series. They're gonna expose you. And they're gonna do that again to him this year. How will the next NBA season shape up? Adrian Wojnarowski gave insight. Because those conversations are underway, whether it's going to be a situation with fans in buildings at some point next season, or as they very much expect to start next year without fans in the arena. How can they do it as a league in market cities outside a bubble? LeBron James has said that he is doing away with his self-imposed social media blackout for the playoffs. He refers to it as Zero Dark 30-23 mode. Regarding playing in Orlando, he revealed, it's definitely going to have a different mindset and a different feel to it. I won't be turning my phone off during this run. I can't afford to. 
I have to continue to check in with my family every single day. LBJ the family man. Do you think LeBron still has a chance to win the MVP award this season? Share your opinion with us in the comments below along with any feedback you might have. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, click the like and check out the others for the latest news from around the league. Thanks for watching guys.